Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today, we are grading all of the brand new Super Bowl pass cards that are coming out today. This is one of the better drops of the year so far. I'm going to be honest, one of the better drops of the year so far. Obviously, the MCS Kyle Pitts, we're not going to talk about him, but all the other Super Bowl pass cards that were revealed last night on the stream. They'll be showed off here in today's video. Before we get started, the shout out for today's video goes to my man Pat Nixon for commenting what theme team he's currently rocking with on Ultimate Team. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, comment which of today's cards you'll be adding to your team today. And of course, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. Of course, 54% of you guys who watch the videos are not subscribed. So if you are part of that 45%, head down there, hit the subscribe button. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so getting started with the 92s, these are, of course, now the cards that go into the sets with an overall bump coming out, you know, for today. Um, it's going to be 92s in sets instead of 91s, which we've had for a while. But Logan Wilson is the first one here. Logan Wilson's not that great. Should get Lurk Artist. Uh, I'm going to give this card probably like a C-. minus. He's nothing special. Devin White, 94 speed. This card's a lot better. I think he genuinely could actually be a pretty solid on a Buccaneers team 96 speed even not a Buccaneers team will be, will be a pretty solid budget user only six foot um doesn't hit his own threshold but as a straight up user with 90 block shed his cars normally do play pretty well so I'll give Devin White a solid B B B I'll give him a B I'm gonna give him a B 94 speed's honestly pretty good for a like a lower overall card not a champion which we're not really used to seeing this year because again budget really there really isn't that many good budget cards this year next up we have Legereus Sneed Legereus Sneed 94 speed 92 man under in zone coverage but if you do play zone coverage then you know you're gonna have that boost most likely um but 92 acceleration this card looks pretty good six foot 191 a great budget card i'm gonna give him the same grade i'm gonna give him a b the same grade i gave as devin white next up we have a matthew slater card he's a straight up he's a straight up special teamer he's a special teamer and yeah th th this promo has kind of showed off that the, the Mutt team doesn't really talk to each other because they just drop the same cards like basically back to back. And it's even probably going to happen with Legere Sneed. But um, Matthew Slater, even Devin White, I'm pretty sure too, right? I believe. Um, the Matthew Slater, this card's actually not bad. 93 speed, 6 foot. You know, hits the his, hits the mid-route running threshold. He's not awful. Would I use him? Probably not. I'll, I'll give him a C plus. I'll give him a C plus on Slater. A special team are getting, hitting a route running threshold. It's honestly the impressive part about that. Um, okay, Miles Sanders, 93 speed, 94 acceleration looks okay uh we'll get jukebox and things like that most likely so i'll give him a i'll give him a c i'll give him a c next we have josh norman man um i would love to see a good josh norman it kind of sucks I, I i don't know if, is josh norman still in the nfl because if he isn't or even if he is i'm surprised he's not getting like better cards i know he, he was good for a little bit he got a, he had a nice two-year run you know he was solid you know is he on the niners now what team he's on the bills i don't think he's actually on a team right now I don't think he is. I think he might be. I think he may have hung it up. But either way, 90 man, 90 zone, 93 speed, 95 acceleration. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. Normally, they allow Norman cards to be pretty decent tacklers as well. Uh, obviously, that's not a guarantee. It's our first one this year. But based off these stats right here with his size, 200, two thresholds, 93 speed, I'll give him a B as well. I think he's in that realm with um, Devin White and like Barry Sneed. Then a Van Jefferson, 6'2", 94 speed with three thresholds. This card is also pretty good. Yeah, he should also get Falcon Kems as well. A pretty solid budget card. I mean, not he's not going to be budget. The card's going to be still 100K. But, you know, if, to me this year, if you're not a champion, you're budget. That's the way I look at it because that's just how bad budget's been this year. But a pretty good card. I'm going to give him a B+. Probably one of the better ones out of all these 92 so far. Of course, we have Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, okay, sure. Don't really care about this card. He's going to get like a C. His release might be decent. He's had decent releases in the past. If they give him the... Let me actually check. Do they give him the... Baker release this year. I actually want to see that. Um, I actually don't know what release he's got. He's got Gen 2. Okay, so nothing special. Def definitely nothing special for Jimmy Garoppolo. Kyle Pitts, we're not talking about, but he's technically a Super Bowl card. He's going to be an A. This card's probably the best tight end in the game when he comes out. Also, tight end apprentice, a lot of apprentice, all that good stuff. He's, he's an absolute demon. Um, but let's talk about Doug Williams. Doug Williams is the quarterback for today's drop. And while I'm recording this right now, we just don't know his release we don't know his release i think it could be a one of two things if it is a gen 2 release this card's gonna be pretty good because he does get one ap hot round master also with the lighted up x factors he does get options there um, i believe it's like a lighted up token like not all the super Bowl cards that you get are gonna be able to get the lighted up tokens you're gonna have to kind of pick if you get a bunch of super Bowl cards which ones you're gonna give the lighted up x factor to but um hot round master for zero gunslinger backyard qb 
I almost don't hate going for someone that doesn't rely on hot route master as much in my scheme. I don't hate going hot route master. Um, w w like in the course, set feet not being discounted or passing not being discounted, whatever ability he does end up getting. Um, you're gonna want to run that because I think you need it in this game, even though he has 96 throw power. I still think he just makes set feet better. Um, and also, we don't know another release, so you might need Gunslinger on the card. Um, but you know, Gen 2 would be okay on the card. I would love to see like a Lamar Jackson release, traditional four, or even a Slinger one, or even a Stroud release. Um, or even a, even the, um, even the Josh Allen release, I would take the Josh Allen Montana release. I wouldn't mind that either. So, you know, any of those releases would be fine with me. Um, ideally he gets one of those. I think gen two is pretty balanced, nothing crazy, but if he gets the, if he gets the Lamar Jackson release, he's in conversation for being the best QB in the game. Um, or at least one of them. I think he definitely would be, um, Slinger one. I don't know if it puts him in that conversation because the Steve McNair is really good in this game right now. Um, if you don't need hot round master, even William Perry will kind of play similar to this card. Um, obviously the only advantage this card has is AP discounts and things like that. So, um, I'm going to give him an A slash A plus. An A because if he has a mid release, he'll be an A card. But if he has a good release, it's an easy A plus card and one of the best QBs in the game. Just based off those stats alone. They, they look amazing. So this one's very interesting. We have Andrew Whitworth. So Andrew Whitworth is, he's interesting. And of course, there is also Super Bowl chemistries. Um, LTDs, I believe, can, I think, I think the champions can get up to like 6X chems or something crazy like that. I don't even know what I was seeing, but it was like a pretty nutty theme team. And it should, of course, go for this week and next week to drop. But this card right here gets a lighted up X factor that gives him all O line abilities. If this means what I think, it just means that when the X factor's on, he gets every single O line ability: threat detector, um, you know, uh, nasty streak, edge protector, um, uh, secure protector. I think he, I think that's what that means. If that's what that means, this card's. I mean, you already probably could just pick up this card and use it until the end of the game. Like if you get Whitworth on your team. 330 should be good enough in the weight category there. You could probably use him until you stop playing Madden 24, until NCA comes out. You probably could, or MLB, whatever you do. Um, you probably could use Whitworth for that long. Could be a worthy investment. And if somehow we are able to get a BND 95, I would pick Andrew Whitworth because he's just a long-term investment that'll probably never leave your team or never have to leave your squad. But then behind Ward, I made I made one mistake with this card um, because uh, I said that it was free. He's not free because you do need a 95 overall Super Bowl champion item to upgrade him which i think is really stupid i, I mean they could have just given this card for free ea again just we just don't get good free cards this year I, I i they've made it evident ever since the rg3 like the rg3 canvas here was probably the last like really good free card we got um you know johnny Manziel wasn't great maybe maybe that unstoppable derrick henry was okay um, am i missing i'm probably missing one from zero chill honestly but times ward very very good card um I, will i be getting him i would almost rather pay the coins than play the solos to be honest but uh that's me personally does get 2x playoff chemistry because he has like a special card. So we'll probably need him if you are building a Super Bowl team. Uh, but mid and elite, very good. But the, the most broken part about this card is the zero AP slot apprentice. So uh, if, we, if we go back on the quarterback, like, I don't know, uh, Doug Williams, you, it basically, you basically wouldn't, you wouldn't rely as much on hot route master as if you um, needed it. And we're starting to get a bunch of zero AP up, uh, slot apprentice guys and, you know, things like that. So I do expect there to be a lot of these guys and you probably won't even really need hot route master if we get enough zero ap slot apprentice or outside apprentice or you know tight end apprentice all that stuff so um this that's what makes this car really good i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give him an a plus i genuinely miss carl will be one of the best wide receivers in the game and a stat here that isn't here but i would guarantee that he has is run blocking Heinz ward is always one of the best run blocking you know wide receivers in the game and it generally makes me think about building a steelers theme team because you guys know i love running the football and the Steelers get two of the best run blocking cards in the game. I uh, have wide receiver, of course, which would be, um, you know, George Pickens with high impact block as well as um, Heinz Ward there as well. So um, Heinz Ward, I'm going to give him an A plus. Clear A plus for Heinz Ward right there. But then if Warren Sapp, probably one of the best cards that's coming out. 98 block shed again. Um, yeah, he's not uh, he's not 203. They're tripping about that. If we go to Heinz Ward, old, I mean, not Heinz Ward. If we go to the Sapp's old card that he got, I think week one or two, I think he had an LTD. Um, he's 303, so they just made a mistake on the mud.gg. 303, good enough. He shouldn't he shouldn't hit the stamina problem. Um, 90 speed though. Acceleration lower than the speed's rare on, on a defensive lineman, but I'll take it. You know what I mean? 90 speed with 98 block shed. Another card like Whitworth, where you could put him at defensive tackle and just not and just you can use him until you start playing stop playing Madden 24. The only reason why maybe not is because he is because he doesn't get zero AP inside stuff. But EA knows that. If they gave him zero AP inside stuff, there'd be no reason to run anyone else. And he'd be your defensive tackle for the rest of the year. Simple as that. I'm going to give him an A+. Plus. One of the best cards that's coming out today. Um, really, all the cards are great. All the cards are genuinely great that are coming out today.
But next up, Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott, his cards, as long as they're up to par with speed, they're normally the best at their position whenever they come out. The mix of man coverage, the mix of zone, be able to almost be a cornerback as well, getting, you know, secondary position at cornerback and strong safety makes Ronnie Lott one of the best cards whenever he does come out. And this one's no different. 96 speed, 92 acceleration, which shouldn't really scare you too much. And what they started to do now is they started to give, instead of giving you a deep in or deep out choice, they just give you a deep zone KO on these cards. So deep zone KO 2AP, which is, is the X factor, the ability that Darren Woodson brought into the game, which is just a deep zone KO across the whole field. So it really doesn't matter. But um, pick artist for zero if you want to go that route. If you want to go pick artist for zero, deep in zone KO and light up his X factor, you can do that too. He means avalanche for one. Um, depends on your scheme. I think Ronnie Lott, another A plus card. And it's going to show you how good this drop is. What do we have? A plus, A slash A, A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. Now we got Chuck Howley. Chuck Howley is the defensive version of Heinz Ward. So if you want, if you don't want him, you don't want to get Heinz Ward, Chuck Howley's here for you. I think Heinz is much better. Um, but Lurk Art is for, you should get Lurk Art is for zero, right? You know, wait, wait, that's interesting. Lurk Art is for zero in the X Factor slot is interesting. Flat zone for one, deep zone for two is also interesting. This card's a very interesting looking card. 95 speed 96 acceleration i just want to check real quick where we're at on the um on user speed right now because admittedly i haven't been looking for a user but i just want to see kind of where we're at so he is the fastest user in the game when he comes out okay fastest user in the game when he comes out six foot two the lurk guard is x factor is a little bit scary to me but good acceleration this card should move really well we, let's look at an old chuck Halley card real quick i want to see how good they made his um cod and things like that okay so he should probably hit like 90 on those he may not move as fluid as someone like Gronk, who's a little bit bigger and kind of moves better but um chuck will be solid I, I think chuck's an a i think chuck's an a pretty good looking card i wish the abilities i wish he just got zero ap lurk artist because you know you know he, he, the fact he doesn't get zero ap lurk artist sucks because you have to use it the light it up x factor in order to use it right but it'll fit the mate so Unless I'm missing something here. I might be missing something. I'm going to give an A to Chuck Cowley. Next up, we have Terrell Davis. Terrell Davis comes right into Oldman team, and he is the fastest running back in the game. Or, for, or tied for it. Devon A-Chain. I forgot about that card completely. Devon A-Chain was the fastest running back in the game. He's going for 300K. I, I, I guess, do people even participate in this promo? I haven't been able to record the last two weeks. Oh, my goodness. That is, a, oh, oh, no, never mind. He's a champion, not a collectible. Okay, that makes sense. My bad. I'm confused. Yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. But Devon HN, his price low key might drop because of this Terrell Davis card. Terrell Davis should have a little more power in his game. 96 COD, 96 speed, 94 acceleration, 511, 211. I thought he's a little bit I thought he'd be a little bit heavier than that. Carrying break tackle, agility, energizer for zero, evasive for one, short in for one, backyard. They gave him first one free for one, which is solid. Um, I'm gonna try this card. I'm gonna I wanna try this card out today. I want to see if he has enough to crack into that top three of running backs right now in this game, which uh, to me are all the cover athletes, probably top four cover athletes. Um, and then Derrick Henry. And then I have um, the Icky Woods card. So I wonder where we're going to put Terrell Davis in there. I think he definitely will end up being top five. I'm going to give him an A plus because he'll be one of the best backs in the game when he does come out with that speed and his weight and his ability to have elusive and power stats as well. So A plus as well for Terrell Davis. We have Herb Adderley. Herb Adderley, six foot two oh five. His X factors are, are flat zone for zero. Zone Hawk shut it down. Does get one AP flat zone, mid zone, and deep zone KO for two. Um, the cool thing about this card, Zone Hawk could be interesting, is getting KOs in all zone coverage. Would have loved to have seen reinforcement. Also, would have loved to have seen a zero AP pick artist in there somewhere. Even shut down for one also isn't bad either. But 97 agility, 96 speed, 95 zone, 95 man. Um, I wonder how good they make his tackling stats. Normally, they make these old head cornerbacks. They usually make them able to tackle. So if this, if that's one of those cards, like a Ken Riley, like a Night Train Lane, then um, may, maybe he'll be in conversation for for cornerback one. I don't think he is in the conversation, honestly. Um, he is only six foot when you have a six foot, you know, five four Randy Moss. So I, I think he's probably top three at cornerback for sure. I just the pick artist, no lack of pick artist scares me. He doesn't have enough KOs, but. If you go zone hawk on him, you don't really need that rest. I, I don't know. It's a very interesting card. I'm gonna give her battle. He's still an A plus. He's still one of the best, best corners in the game. And again, this drop is absolutely nutty. And we haven't even talked about the LTDs yet. Let's talk about let's talk about Cam Chancellor. Cam Chancellor, yeah, six foot three, two twenty five. I would say, I would almost say, I would almost say user this card with like dual threat or something. I think if you user this card with dual threat, he will be a monster. If you don't know what dual threat does, it basically gives you KOs. 
and faster reactions in the pass game, but also makes you better in the run game, pass rush game as well. So um, dual threat is pretty nasty. It's a pretty good ability right there. Pick artist for zero. The one thing he's missing, in my opinion, is lurk artist. I would have loved to see him get lurk artist or something, something like that. Even though he's a safety, lurk artist is still good. It's still beneficial to have on the safeties. Um, cause it's like pick artist and kind of like a little bit of acrobat in it. So would have liked to have seen lurk artist on pick artist is fine. I think they kind of designed this card to more be a deep zone guy. Um, although, although they did give a mid zone for one and like enforcer Supreme is interesting. Cause like you, it's like a hit stick. You can't bring the tackle of. So 98 hit power, 96 speed. He's the best safety in the game when he comes out. So he's easily an A plus for camp chance. And finally we have Plasco Burris six foot five. Do I think he's going to be the best wide receiver in the game? No, actually, I don't think so. I think it's still going to be Calvin Johnson, but Plexico is obviously insane. He's an insane card. Um, Legends. It's a super legend. I think one of the cooler cards we've seen so far today. Short and elite for one, deep in elite. There's our deep elite for two, which is every single catch on the field. He gets that boosted pretty much. But wide receiver apprentice for zero. Very, very good. This will give him literally every hot route on the, uh, no matter where he's playing at wide, at wide receiver. Um, so you don't really need to rely on hot route master, which opens up more things for your offense and your quarterback and your running. Like, you know what I mean? Zero AP apprentice is a lot of things for a lot of people. So 96 speed, three thresholds, short route running. And just based off of this X factor right here, grab and smash, which don't do in real life. Please don't, don't, you don't do that in public. Okay. Uh, just a fair warning. So don't, don't try to be like Plesko Burris. It, I just in general, really off the field. Um, just saying, I'm sure he's fixed his act now but you know what i mean uh either way i don't know why i went on that tangent this is an a plus card best second best wide receiver in the game right now in my opinion um plus go is an absolute stud and i'm scared to see what the price of both these cards are probably 2 million 1.5 1.8 it all comes down to the special store offer honestly which should be pretty good if i have to imagine uh, but a really really good promo and you know people are always asking what's your coin making method what's your coin making method this is one of those promos where i would say get your hands on that special store offer unless it's really bad and it's egregiously bad but if it's pretty good this would be one of the promos i would uh wouldn't hate if you want to spend money on the game spending money on the game on because yeah it's obviously you really can't go wrong with any card that you get any card that you pull any card that you want and really anyone's scheme these cards will fit anywhere so great promo from ea a plus promo from ea sports great names great drop hopefully they can follow it up next week with the current players both niners and chiefs as well looking forward to that of course as always i'll see you boys in the next one